Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Well, on today's video, we're going to be looking at orthographic projection in third angle projection. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, ring the bell to get notified when I post new and exciting videos. Alright, so um, I will join this diagram in third angle projection. Okay, so the first thing I will do, I will draw my three horizontal line and three vertical line. Now, it doesn't actually matter the distance of this line, just that it should be of equal distance. Alright, so I've drawn the three horizontal line, three vertical line. Now, since this is in third angle projection, uh, we'll be placing our different views on different parts. I told you from our previous video for first angle projection, front view, side view, top view. But this is a third angle projection. It means that we are placing the front view here, side view here, and then top view here, okay? Now, if you, if you take a look at this diagram, um, put on a direction Z or S, so see what it there. Okay, so if, if I should draw my front view, I'm supposed to know the total height of the diagram, okay? Now, here to this part is 75 cm, okay? That is from this down, from the baseline to the center of this circle up, 75 cm. But the diameter of this circle is 40 millimeter, okay? So if the diameter is 40, then the radius will be what? 20. That means half of the circle will be 20. So this is 75 and here is 20. What will be the full length? 75 plus 20, which will give you 95, okay? So I know that my full length of the diagram is 95. I'll measure 95. Okay? And then, what about the breadth of the diagram? The breadth. Okay, so this is, we have 12. Um, okay. Okay, we know that this total length is 32, okay, and this is 12.5, that will be 42.5, alright, 42.5. So, I'll come here, do the same thing too, 42.5, that will be the total length of our diagram. Let me use a smaller ruler so that you can see the um, calibration. This is 42. Alright, so once I've marked this, I will just draw a straight line on this line. And that whatever I'm drawing, my front view should stop at this region. Please, light be very, very faint. Alright, so let's start our drawing. The first part you see is this part, okay? This rectangle here, which is 50 and 12, that's the parameter. 50 and 12. So I'll start, I'll start from the baseline here. So from here, I'll measure 12, 12, which is 1.2 cm, 12, and then the length is what, 15. Having done that, okay. So, okay, we've done this part here. Now, if I if I should draw this part, this part here, now this will look like also like a rectangle, okay. We we'll use the normal length, the rectangle. But if you look at here is twelve, okay, or here is twenty. I mean, the rectangle looks like this. It will go up, and then now go twenty and come down. And length to come down. It will be the length of this circle. That's the diameter of the circle. So to go to go 20, come down 40, and then come inside. 20 minutes off will give you it. it's come inside 8 before it then comes down, okay? So it looks something like this to the top. Okay, then I'll come this way 20. 20. 20. And I'll come down 40. Okay, so I always bring it this way. Okay, 
so I've done that. All right. Now let's draw this part of it. Let's 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 draw this part. Now we're giving that from this base, okay? So this part here is 32. That's from the base. So this part is 32. That's the middle of this part, okay? So I'm going to measure 32, and then here mark a line straight, and then draw this circle. Please watch. So I measure 32. At that point, I'll draw a straight line. Okay. The radius of this circle, the diameter of the circle is 25. That's the diameter, but the radius will be 12.5. So I'm using 12.5 as 1.25. So this is 1.25. Okay. I'll place it here. I'll cut this like this. Now I'll place it here. Now I'll draw a circle. Okay. After I draw the circle, I will just join the top of the circle to there and there, this way. All right, so this is my front view already. Now the front view. Now we can move over to the side view. Now I was just saying before you draw a side view, try to elongate all your lines from the front view to the side view. All right, let's do some elongations. Alright, so to draw our side view, that is this part here, this part, so we're going to see this thing, we're going to see this part here, also this part, we'll see this inside, we'll also see this part and this top. Now whatever is here, will also appear in this other side, okay? Now we're giving the total length of this side view is 75, 75 is total length, and total height is the same thing as the front view height, which is 95 as we as we for, so 75 and 95, okay? So I'll draw. 75. So, so this is the type, and then the height is 95. So, this will follow the same height, okay? Okay, so I know that distance from here to here is 50, okay? And then we then join into this bigger circle. So whatever we have here, also do this for this other part. So 50 and to your circle, okay? That is what I actually mean. The height is 50, so with this height of 50. 50 and 50 here. Okay? Now, how we going to how we join to the circle? I will divide this line into two equal parts. 75 divided by 2 will be about 37. 0.5 So I'll draw an imaginary straight line. Alright. So for this circle, the diameter is 20 for the bigger one. The diameter is 20. Radius is 20. Um, radius is 20 for the bigger one. For a smaller one here, diameter is 20, diameter is going to be 10. So I'm going to measure 20 first. Start with one for 20. 20. Alright, so I'll pin it here. I'll mark 20. Okay? And I'll pin here. We got some radius. I will draw 10. So this is 10. I'll just join. Alright. We're we'll joining into tangent is circle, okay? Alright. Now, this part of this, sorry. The distance between this this two stuff here, okay, is 32. So from the middle, I'll go 16, 16. If I can draw this stuff, okay. So I'll measure 16 first. 16. 16. 
16, 16, this is 16, and this is 16. Now, after I've gotten this distance, now, this stop will appear as a straight line, okay? So, to be straight, the length here is 20, this, yeah, sorry, 12, here is 10, okay? Here is 12, that says 10, 2, here is 12. So, I'll do a straight line, go 12. Come up with the radius of this circle that's 20 with the metal circle, I mean that's 25, and then go in and then you can tell here has to be 10. This is actually what I mean. So I'll I'll go up and this length should correspond with with this, okay? So I'll go up from this portion here. Okay, and then I'll draw the length will be 12, so I'll go 12. So, and then the radius of this circle, that's sorry, the diameter of this circle, which is this length, I elongated it. So, also go. Now, I'll measure 10 from this part, which is here. Okay, so I'll come this way and then I'll carry it up. Alright, I will repeat the same process in the other side since the two parts are identical. Okay, I will repeat the same process. Alright, so I've done this and I've done this. Now, let's look at there is something here, okay, and it's taking this shape. It's kind of something like this. It's not something like this. Okay, so how do we go about drawing it? Now, we're also given that from here, okay, from the base to where we'll start this stuff. Is 20 and the length here is 14 and the radius of this arc is 8 radius 8 okay so 20 14 and then the radius will be 8 and so this one also so for me um on this part here i'll measure 20 or well, starting from here and then the height of it is 14 so it will end somewhere around this area okay and the radius will be 8. And since radius will be 8, that actually means that I have to put 8 this way. It means I have to put 8 this way and 8 the other way. That is 8 this way and 8 this other way, which is 16 as total length. Okay, so I'll put the same thing to put down. 8, 8. So that we come to draw that stuff. Okay, so I'll join this part here. I'll join this part. So I'll use this radius here. Alright. So with the radius of this stuff here, distance here, I'll draw because this is radius of 8. So I'll draw up and I'll sew the same thing to down. So I believe that's that's that for that. We are done with our side view. Let's move over to the top view. And this is front side. I'm going to the top view this way. Okay. 
so to draw the top view okay that is this part here this is part of the top view so i'll draw this part here okay i'll draw this part so draw this part so draw, so draw this, this part here i should talk okay yeah. so remember whatever we have here we also have in this side that's so why we have this and this so i'll do this one this way this one i'll shoot out and then the other one the other way i'll draw these two things and then we are good to go all right so let's start the length total length okay will be 75 and the side the top view sorry 75 okay so i'm measuring 75 Alright, so the length here is 12, okay, 12, so I'll be using, this I'll be using 12, since, since the head is already 12, I'll just elongate it upward, so I'll elongate 12. Okay, so this should give me 12. Alright, but if you look or if you watch closely, we have this here, we have the same thing to this other part of it, okay? So I'll, I'll first of all pause, I'll get this center, the, the main point of the two of them, and then draw this stuff here, okay? With the length of the diameter of the circle, I just actually what I mean. Since it's 75, if I have it, I will have it about 30, 37 points. No. Yes, 37.5. This is 37. 37.5. Okay. So I'll go horizontally. Okay. So the length of this stuff here. So the length of this stuff here is 20, okay? So that means, and the breadth here is 40. All right, so I'll go 20 as length. Breadth is 40, right? If I divide 40 into 2, I'll have 20, 20. So I'll go 20 to up and 20, that will me the length of what? 40, okay? Having done this, so I'll join to this part. Okay? Then I can then clean out this part as after my joining. All right, so let's focus on drawing this part of it. Let's focus on drawing this part. So I'll have this thing, but this now to make it much more easier for us. This part here, I will elongate it. Okay, and this other part down. And then this part here too. So our section here at an angle of 45 degrees. Alright, so we're going to our diagram. This is actually how it looks like after being sectioned. Alright, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel and drop or ask questions in the comment section. Alright, thank you for watching this video.